Hello and welcome to From the Rabbi's Bookshelves. I'm Rabbi Elton from the Great Synagogue in Sydney. And today's book is this one here, Midrash Shmuel by Rav Shmuel Di Azida of Sfat and Constantinople. Uh, the Midrash Shmuel is a commentary on Pirkei Avot, Ethics of the Fathers. Uh, that's a tractate of the Mishnah. Mishnah is largely a legal work, but Ethics of the Fathers is actually largely composed of uh, moral and ethical teachings and is studied traditionally on Shabbat afternoons in the summer. Those long summer afternoons have to have something to do, so we would learn the ethics of the Father's Pirkei Avot. And so Rabbi Shmuel Diazida provided a commentary to help the reader understand these Mishnayot, these statements from the Mishnah, in greater depth and, uh, and profundity. I'll share with you uh, in this video um, his explanation of one Mishnah in the third chapter of Pirkei Avot, uh, which says this. Anybody whose actions exceed their wisdom, their wisdom will endure. But somebody whose wisdom exceeds their actions, we assume they're good actions, their wisdom will not endure. Their wisdom will somehow dissipate or evaporate or fall away. So what does this mean in the view of the Midrash Shmuel? He says this, if somebody has learned a certain amount about how to live a proper Jewish life, but there are still areas in which they are uh, ignorant, they're lacking understanding or uh, experience in a certain area of Jewish law, but they still have to know how to act, they still have to have to live. And so he says one should act with stringency and with caution in those areas. There's a gap in your understanding and knowledge, and so in order you shouldn't fall into uh, into a mistake, you act with great stringency and caution. Uh, and that's what one does when one's uh, actions exceed one's knowledge. Uh, you act in a way which is uh, cautious so you don't fall into error by mistake. But if you know what to do, you have wisdom in a certain area, and yet still your actions do not uh, come up to that uh, level of your wisdom, you don't apply your wisdom in practice by doing the mitzvot in the proper way, uh, then your wisdom will, will fall away. If you act with caution and with, with care in areas where you're not sure, you will build and gain more wisdom. But if you don't apply your wisdom in practical terms, then even your wisdom will disappear. So obviously he, he advises us to learn carefully and learn widely, but what we don't yet know, to act with care and with caution so we don't fall inadvertently into mistakes and into error. Thank you for joining.